Hi everyone, it's Luz and today I would love to share my first fabric lace doily book that I've made. I was inspired by many wonderful crafters here on YouTube that shared their beautiful fabric lace albums and oh, too many to mention but I will mention some of them as I go through the book because um, they gave me some ideas that I've used great ideas so thank you very much ladies for sharing all these beautiful projects um, I have made this toily book um, using my own crocheted doilies and that idea came from Patricia who is pet ass here on YouTube and she shared a video um, in which she said uh, that you can crochet your own doilies if you make eight of them you have four pages and that idea I've used for this album so these this is these are the doilies that I've crocheted to make this book and I have just uh, tea dyed the, um, the doilies because this was a little bit too bright and I love the look that Chrissy who is Chrissy Crosser here on YouTube uh, has in her project so I wanted to to um, to give it that same old look so I have tea dyed my pages and in between of the pages are made out of two of these doilies and in between there is, there is this um, soft fabric that I've used I cut out two circles and then glue them together and then glue two of these doilies and embellished the doilies to get the, the pages of this album so it looks like there's a lot going on on this page but it's just a flower <laughs> that is um, on the cover of this as you can see I've made this flower using uh, some eyelet trim and some um, oh yeah, uh, crochet pieces here's a tiny doily a dimensional flower and some pom pom trim and the flower is just glued on the first doily and behind the flower there is another tiny doily and a piece of vintage lace and then another tiny doily here with a piece of applique and a cut of flower from some out of some vintage lace and I have all kinds of dangles here and that idea is from uh, Bonnie who is Sassy Scrappers I love the look of that all these dangled pieces together so thank you Bonnie for that idea and then I have uh, a piece of ribbon here that says dream big and let's just cut off this ribbon and I've made it look older by distressing it a bit and it's glued down using a tiny wooden button and then there's a crocheted flower that I've tucked under the oh no I'm sorry a crocheted leaf that I've tucked under the flower and that is how the, the cover came out and the pages are bound together using seam binding and on the seam binding I have all kinds of uh, tiny little balls that I've crocheted and some uh, pom pom trim that I uh, for all the all the crochet work in this book is done by me and uh, I love doing that tiny little pieces I have always uh, a ball of yarn in my purse and a hook so when I have to wait somewhere I can crochet myself a flower or a piece uh, like this something so that's the cover of my book and then this is the first page 
For my book, I have used uh, vintage images of teddy bears. And I tried to find um, images that had also lace. So for instance, this bear has a beautiful lace bow around his neck. And on this one, there is a piece of lace on the background. Um, I have glued some lace in between the two doilies. And I just like that all these things sticking out and yeah, it makes it look um, interesting, <laughs> I think. I have framed the picture by gluing some pom-pom trim around it. And then the page is embellished, embellished with all kinds of crocheted flowers and cut out pieces of lace. So that is the first page. Um, the second page, same thing. Here the ribbon says, be grateful. And again, all kinds of crocheted flowers and cut out pieces. Another crocheted flower, just to embellish the page. And in between the layers I have some dangle pieces. And again, some of that um, cotton flower lace. And here is another piece of doily glued behind the picture. So, next pages look like this. I framed the picture using some lace and then embellished with all kinds of crochet pieces and lace pieces. Here's another dangled crochet piece. And this bear I like so much with his beautiful blue coat. And the ribbon says give love. And then again all kinds of embellishments to decorate the page. And then the last two pages look like this. And this one, here it says laugh lots. And then the back page only has my name stamp on it, which are framed with some um, cotton pieces and another doily sticking out. So that is my uh, doily book. I hope you like it. And I want to thank again all the ladies that showed beautiful pieces. I'm sure I forgot a lot of them. Um, there's Drillis and Maggie and Janet. Oh, I think you know all the ladies who make those beautiful um, doily lace pieces. Um, I also want to thank you for watching and wish you a wonderful day. Bye bye.